दोस्तों आज हमारे साथ स्टूडियो में हैं अशोका चौटा अशोका हमारे ही एडलेट के ही नौजवान हैं हिज एन एडलेट बॉय और बहुत ही आर्टिस्टिक हैं बहुत ही क्रिएटिव हैं और काफ़ी कुछ करते हैं अपने आर्ट्स में um, अभी उन्होंने एक फिल्म बनाई है जो एडलेट फ्रिंज फेस्टिवल में दिखाया जा रहा है तो इसके बारे में हम उनसे बात करेंगे लेकिन ये भेंट वार्ता अंग्रेजी में होगी um, so I hope you're looking forward to listening to Ashoka. He's here with us. Welcome to the studios, Ashok. Thank you. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, well, I well, I, I'm a graphic designer. Um, I work at a firm uh, part time, and I'm I'm also a, an artist, a visual artist. I occasionally paint and draw. Haven't done it in a while. I'm on hiatus with that. This uh, filmmaking um, task has taken up most of my time in the last couple of years or so, and I'm also um, I'm an acting student as well. Although I haven't acted in any um, films as of yet, um, professional ones. Um, yeah, really. because um, even before I heard about the um, movie, the mm-hmm. film you've made, um, I did see um, an exhibition of yours. I think a while ago at the Box Factory, and now recently at the Park Centre. Yeah. So I saw a visual art exhibition. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, the, I did. Yeah, I had one um, at the Box Factory. I think it was what two years ago now. Probably. Yeah, yes. something like that. So I had that. I think that was probably one of the last exhibitions I had before. That part of me just went all quiet <laughs> <laughs> before I started committing to this film thing, but yeah, um, as we and speak, you dabble in um, different um, media, different uh, yeah. in your visual art as well. Well, yeah, I um, I was get, doing a lot of digital uh, stuff and um, like just having it printed on paper or canvas, um, but also. Um, just before this movie thing, I uh, was doing a bit of uh, aerosol painting and all that, doing it on canvas, um, not in the street art kind of way, but in my own sort of way. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I was just mixing it with acrylic and all that. So that that was, I basically I go wherever the ideas take me, yeah. Beautiful. That yeah. sounds really exciting, all different kinds of yeah. um, material to use yeah. and different ways to use it in. That's right, yeah. Beautiful. And you said you were interested in acting. Yeah, yeah, I I was I was um I did like a two year course at over at Actors Inc, which is also an agency, and I just finished it up last year, and um, yeah, I got a, a show reel made of it, um, which is already up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm an acting student. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I've done a bit of acting, like it, it's on the net somewhere, like on YouTube. But as far as doing professional stuff, that has yet to happen. <laughs> yeah. So there's so there's painting, art, acting. Is there some music in there as well? Oh, music. When I'm in the mood, um, I do a bit of yeah, I do a bit of music. I mean, speaking of music, one of my tunes ended up on the my short film, The Fair Weather Felon. It's very minimal sort of a tune. And uh, yeah, I just made one and, but I've got a whole bunch of tunes that are just <laughs> all on my hard drive and all of that. Yeah, great. So you, you just make up a tune in your head, it comes in yeah. and then use electronic, um, you, you... I sometimes, I use uh, garage band sometimes, but sometimes I use the more traditional instruments, although I don't play it traditionally. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I know. To put to put it frank, I just like to pretend that I am a musician. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your tunes will end up in places where oh, we'd be surprised. Hope so. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And tell us about the film. You've been you've been alluding to the the film for the uh, last. Oh yeah, week. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's called the Fair Weather Fell, and it's a, a short film, black and white. It goes for 21 minutes, and um, it's basically about deception, falling in love, and betrayal, and um, it's got a bit of that youth feel to it. And um, it's it's basically about a young thief. His name's Jim, and he's just scouting out houses, um, and he finds one that he wants to break into. So he breaks into it, but then he gets caught by um, a young, attractive girl who just happens to be at the house. So he's just like really scared like and like like who is this person kind of thing and as it turns out he um when he finds out there's nothing to be worried about i mean prior to that 
he's already falling in love with her and everything she picks up on it and um, I won't say too much but they end up getting along but um, but she ends up um, uh, betraying him in the end so how you'll have to see it and uh, <laughs> I'm sure and uh, yeah it's um, it's I, I just it's um, and it's basically a crime drama um, and it's I, I bought the script off a uh, the original script of a, a guy called Jacob Greenberg, who's a Russian writer who lives in Israel. Um, but um, the, because it's probably made from his cultural perspective, the script needed to go through changes to give it that Australian feel to it. Mm -hmm. And the ending needed some working on. And the, as far as the script is concerned, as it was going through the process, it's a it was basically quite a collaboration. Mm -hmm. So, it, tell me how you decided to make that film. You said you borrowed the, you bought the um, script from someone else. Yeah, I did. Um, how did you? What made you decide this particular script? Oh, well, I, I, what made me decide? Well, I was just as I was reading it after going through a bunch. Um, I just liked all the twists in it, and. I thought practically it would work because it's it basically works in one location so that's like a small budget small number of people that helps so I thought okay it's interesting plus it's practical for a small budget and that's I just mm -hmm. liked it yep, yeah that seems very practical yeah, good yeah. reasons why to go with the script <laughs> yeah um, tell me how you fell into s filmmaking oh um, I fell into it after doing a um, a course over at TAFE, I say, at the LA College of the Arts. I did that back in 2012, was it? Yeah, 2012. And I I didn't, it was meant to be an advanced diploma in um, film and TV production, although I just finished up to the certificate level, like one year and 10 weeks into it. Mm -hmm. And then I dropped out because I wasn't interested what they were going to bring out afterwards and all that. So I dropped out and I'd say 2014, around March is when I got started on working on this movie, like pre-production wise. Yeah. Fantastic. And so this is the first short film you've made? Yes, this is, yes. Um, actually, I have made some other shorts prior to that, but I didn't really know what I was doing mm -hmm. at the time. I, made, I was just fluking it. Okay. So this yep. is the first serious one. Serious one and made properly and yes, then being that, shown properly. That's, that's right. Yeah. Um, so you have, um, obviously you've done the acting course, um, mm. you do visual art and you said you were a graphic designer. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's all very in, um, creative and mm. artistic and things like that. Mm. Uh, would you say your Indian heritage um, influences your art? It doesn't, to be honest, but um, if there's anything to go by subtly, indirectly Indian, um, how do I put this? Well, India is a very multicultural country. No two Indians that you come across are going to be the same traditionally, culturally, um, and it's not just democratic politically, but also culturally as well. Um, it's very open and all that. And there are some who are more traditional, some who are not as much. And I feel I'm just a prime example of that diversity. Like, um, like you're, you're still Indian, even if you don't do anything that's overtly mm -hmm. Indian or cultural, but it's still part of the whole Indian ethos. mindset. Pardon me? The whole ethos? Ethos, yes. yes. Um, so I, I feel in that way it's quite open to that Indian thing. Um, having said that, there is a, um, a couple of uh, Indian artifacts in the film although it's not <laughs> i know it, that's about as indian as it gets <laughs> and even one of the minor actors is indian um but it's not an indian thing mm -hmm, per se mm -hmm. but what you said um um just struck me it, it i think you put it beautifully mm. that um india is 
so democratic, not just politically, but culturally as well. Yeah. Because they do have a saying, we have a saying that you go 200 kilometers mm. and the culture changes. That's the whole right. thing, the dress, the food, the exactly. art, everything that's changes. Right. Yes. Yeah. So that's all you need to move <laughs> at the most. And in between that, the, yeah. the transition it happens. Is, yeah. Yes. So you're right. Yeah. We don't have to go back to um, something being a certain way no. to say this is Indian. That's right. It is all Indian. Exactly. And, and there's plenty of modern art, plenty of westernized art in India too. Yeah. And yeah. English documentaries I've, and yeah, stuff. I've yeah, I've noticed, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and where to from here? What are your future plans? Oh, well, um, where, where, where to from here? Well, I plan on um, trying to get this... Um, uh, this film, seeing if I can get it screened interstate, I'm not sure if it actually happened, but other than the Fairweather Felon, I'm not sure if I already mentioned the name of the short, but after that, um, I do have something cooking. I want to jump in straight into a feature. I'm just slowly writing little bits down, but mm -hmm. uh, nothing is set in stone at this stage. Yeah. Fair enough, yeah, but we look forward to that feature film, Ashoka. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and um, our very best wishes with you. Thanks very best much. Best of luck for this film as well as for all your future Thank endeavors. You. Thanks, Vinaya. Thank you. So please do remember the film by Ashoka.